because if the company dies, everyone loses their job anyway. By this point, you're probably thinking that I'm being overdramatic and that AI is just a phase like 3D televisions. I thought the exact same thing. So I dug into the research. This has happened before, three times, across two centuries, and every single time, the companies that survived, if we can identify that formula, we can predict exactly what's about to happen. So let me take you back, because history doesn't just rhyme. In this case, it repeats with frightening precision. 1810, England. Thomas Wilson had been making cloth by hand for 30 years. Three generations of his family knew this skill. Then came the mechanical loom, 10 times faster than human hands. Years later, Thomas died in poverty. But some fabric makers became factory owners. Same machines, different outcome. The difference? Thomas knew only his family's patterns. The survivors understood the entire process, choosing materials, controlling tension, spotting defects instantly, training new workers. Factory owners needed people who could solve problems the machines couldn't, not more hand workers. Today, you're the fabric maker. AI is the mechanical loom, and those who stay aren't the ones who know everything, just the ones who look beyond their own task. 1925, Detroit. Two hundred craftsmen at Brewster Company built luxury horse-drawn carriages by hand for 60 years. Ford's assembly line destroyed them in three years, but Ford hired quality controllers, process managers, line supervisors. The craftsmen who understood entire vehicles became supervisors. They could spot defects, solve production problems, train workers. The ones who only knew wood carving? Unemployed. Same pattern, different century. Today, you're the craftsman. AI is the assembly line. Can you spot the defects and train the system, or do you only know your small piece? 